How's it going guys? So today we're gonna to talk about the new updates to the real-time materials add-on. Now it's been so long since I've done an update. I wanted to provide a discount for anybody who's interested in it. So use the code update week. That's exclusive for anybody seeing these new updates. Now, what we're gonna to cover today is the new UI. We're gonna talk about the asset browser version of the add-on. Uh, we're gonna talk about some new materials. And again, if you haven't heard of the add-on, I'm gonna give kind of an overview at the end so you can kind of skip to that if you're curious. Let's go ahead and talk about the new update. Now the new update update is, um, is going to be called Real-Time Materials 2.1.5. So if you've already purchased it on Gumroad, you can grab it uh, in your library. If on Blender Market, you can grab it in your downloads. But again, 2.1.5 is the new update, uh, just, to, just if you're trying to make sure you have the new one. All right. So here we are. It's in a blank document. It exists in the end panel right over here. And the new edition, say let's go ahead and grab um, this blob material apply it there. And you now can edit your materials in this panel right over here. It used to be you have to go over here. Uh, so say over here, you added a material, then you'd have to navigate here to edit it. Um, now we can make all of our edits within a panel already existing in the end panel. Uh, so we can play with that pattern scale, um, make it like that, do something like this. Now we can change that and then we can go ahead, change color if we want. So there we go. We have that. And of course, we have all of your stuff here. Um, so you can go ahead and add maybe more extensive materials like hex. Again, it's all still here available to you where you can change all of your uh, edits to do whatever you want. Of course, changing that scale. Um, so yeah, now let's go ahead and talk about the asset browser addition to this pack. So we'll hit in, close that. Um, when you purchase the pack, it will come with a video on how to install the asset browser version and the add-on version. So we're not going to go over that today. So we'll go over to the asset browser and then we'll click on real-time materials and it's going to, you know, expose all of the new materials. And again, it's just drag and drop. And then in this case, you don't get all of that here unless you hit end and it'll expose that stuff for you. Um, but I feel like most people who use an asset browser won't have it installed as the, that other version. Uh, and then, of course, you have all of your categories right over here listed for you. Um, so asset browser, got a lot of requests for it. Drag and drop. And then again over here, you can make your changes to however you want to, change all your colors, do anything. Uh, now, new materials. We have a new category right here, leather UV. UV, of course, meaning uh, you have to unwrap your models. Uh, so we can just go ahead and drag and drop um, a few of the ones that I really like and play with them. So I'm just going to use the end panel to edit. All right, so this one's super cool. Of course, these are scaled up too high, so we're going to do like 200. So here we go. This one, of course, the scaling is off, so you'll have to bring up your scale to say... 300 to make it actually look like, you know, leather that's not zoomed in. And of course you get to change your color on these. So if you want to have a wild yellow leather, you can have a wild yellow leather, of course, because these are editable materials. Now that one's ruined by color, but you get it. Um, now this one is super cool too. You can bring that scale up to make it better. Of course, say uh, 30. Now, of course, that's too small. So then you bring it up to like 200, much better. And again, color changing. You can change the color of your material. You also have your roughness and surface imperfections. So currently, surface imperfections are um, all the way on. So if you turn off your surface imperfections, you now can play with the roughness as a whole, or you can kind of or you can let kind of our choices on, hey, what looks good, which I prefer the surface imperfections here on this one. And you have a lot of other materials. I mean, uh, leather materials here. You have this one, which is kind of grungy, weird looking um, leather. We have this one, which I absolutely love this one here. Um, it just looks awesome. And I actually made a render with that one, which is being used right here. So this is the leather in kind of a use case looks beautiful of course yeah the, um, we have this one which is almost like a basketball uh leather in a sense you know much more dramatic looking and we have three different levels of color in this one a lot of different cool things like color variation see that's a basketball or a football um color variation you add it there 
surface imperfections, lots of customization with these leather materials. They're incredibly powerful, incredibly cool. So yeah, there we go, we have that. Um, now, for an overview, for those of you who have not heard of real-time materials, what is it? It is a pack of all 100% procedural materials. Um, so you can have the power of procedural. If you're not aware, if you use image textures, you are confined by that squared. So if you want to make, say if it's like a leather material, you want to make it look like it's smaller, then you're going to deal with called what's called um, tiling. And then if you tile too much, then it's obvious that it's an image. Um, with procedural, you do not have that problem. So say if I have this uh, hex material and I go ahead and apply it there, see how it's too big and then we need to you know, make it bigger and smaller. With procedural, that's infinite. You can just do that forever and then you have the ability to change aspects. If you're using an image texture, you do not have the ability to change things like what I just did. Um, you know, you can change the roughness, you can do all of this. Uh, image textures, you, know, you can change roughness, things like that. But you have so much more control with procedural, which is in Kate, which is why I made this. Um, I'm such a big fan of procedural. So you have over 200 um, materials, some that require you to unwrap, a lot that don't. You know, you have, say, like uh, this cracked asphalt material, and then you can play with the, uh, the cracks here, maybe 0.9 cracks here like that, and then you can play with the uh, grain, all that, rocks. Now your rocks are going to be much bigger. As you can see, that's kind of the rocks there. So you have editability and... Not all of them do, but as many, uh, but quite a lot, give you control of your roughness um, and your color. So there you go. That is the pack. Uh, you can get it on Blender Market and Gumroad. I'll link it in the description. You can use that code update week on checkout and get a discount on it if you'd like. Uh, but with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned some stuff. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.